All right, what is going on everybody? Welcome to Speakeasy Collectibles. Um, today I have for you Sideshow's brand new premium format, Darth Vader. Um, this guy was sculpted and designed by Matt Black and I think he did a phenomenal job on this. Um, I love the pose, love the base. Um, this, uh, uh, this Vader is from the uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi show um, from Disney Plus. Great show. Um, super ha happy they made it. Um, I've, I definitely enjoyed it. Can't wait for season two. Um, but anyways, this is the art box here. She's a big one. Uh, about 37 inches tall, but really slim, so it'll be easy storage, which we all love. Um, couple pictures of Vader on it this, of the statue which is really nice um, so this is my first Darth Vader statue to add to the collection um, I've been in I've collected life-size props uh, throughout throughout the years but um, really excited to add this to my collection um, anyways uh, let's get into this review Okay, so real quick, this is what the pieces look like in the box. Um, just for your reference in case you ever need to repack them up. Now so on to the like base. The box. So we'll start with the bottom of this. Um, I got number uh, 1,459 out of 4,500. So it is a really high addition size on this. Um, but nonetheless, um, the bottom of this is really cool. You got Vader looking over what looks like molten lava, um, and off in the distance you got his castle, which is the base. So, really cool. Let me go ahead and flip it. Okay, so this is what the base looks like. Um, I am absolutely in love with this base, and I am so glad they showed this on, on the Obi-Wan show, because I don't think a lot of people knew what this was when it first came out for pre-order. I know a lot of people said it looks like Lord of the Rings, doesn't look right. Um, but this is Darth Vader's castle. Um, you only knew about this through the books. No one, you know, people that don't read the books only watch the movies. They didn't know anything about this. Now you do. So you know exactly what it is. And I love it. From the molten lava, it looks like there's lava flowing from the bottom here, or it looks like it's like lit up on fire. Um, from the, the stonework looks great on this. Um, I love it. It matches Darth Vader. It matches what it's supposed to portray. And um, well done. I'm, I'm super happy with it. So. Okay, now we'll get on to the parts. Um, so first off, we have his chest box and his belt. Um, the belt turned out really, really nice. Uh, great weathering on it. And basically it just connects by two Velcro pieces like that. Um, this right here, this is your battery box for the light up feature. And right here is the switch, boom. And there it is. Pretty simple, very nice, very accurate to the show. And next is the chest box, pretty simple. Um, the back of it here, it all unscrews. So again, there's batteries in this because there is a light up feature which switches on right here. So if you ever need to replace it, just open that up and replace it. And here's the cool part. There's a sequence on the lights. Um, now the only downfall to this is unfortunately you have to manually turn on all the lights. It, it doesn't switch on all at once. Uh, I wish it did, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I won't be turning on the lights very much because of that reason now, but you know, still nice and uh, can't complain. Other than that one complaint, I guess. All right, so these are the three arms it comes with. Um, one of them is holding the lightsaber, and then the two other ones are gonna be your switch out. Um, let's see here. 
very nicely detailed. Um, I love how there's little stitching in between these lines too. It's a really nice touch. Um, paint job's really nice. Just your classic silver with your uh, glossy black. Um, this is where the lightsaber arm plugs into the shoulder. There's your lightsaber there. Not the greatest in detail, but it's something you're just not going to notice. I wish they would have added the ring, but that's okay. That's that one there. This one's uh, this is going to be the one I'm going to always use. Um, just a nice um, the hand expression, just using the force. So. And again, very nice detail. I love the, again, the stitching between the lines. That's a nice little touch there. This is the same thing. I'm not going to be using this one. It looks weird on there, but you know, I'll, I'll, we'll, sh we'll show you what that looks like. So really happy with this. Okay. And here you have the portrait. Um, not much to say here other than absolutely beautiful. The silver is great. Gloss black on the helmet, perfect. Um, really happy with it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start building this guy up and we'll go from there. Okay, so this is the um, this is the one with the switch out arm, the one that I'm not going to be using. I, I did want to put it on just to show you guys. Um, now, I guess it really doesn't look all that bad when you don't have the cape on. I've seen pictures where it just looks terrible. The shoulders are just off, but um, it doesn't look all that bad. It's just something that I'm not going to be using. So, I, but you know, I just want to give you guys a quick look at it um, before I put it away and gone forever. So let's go ahead and get this guy all dressed up and finished here. All right, everybody, here it is, the final product. Uh, Darth Vader at his finest. Um, th this is absolutely beautiful. Um, Sideshow just knocked us out the park. Um, I love everything about this. Um, I will say the one thing about the cape, the posable cape, I didn't think I would have a problem with it. I don't really have a problem with it. I just don't like to mess with it because I'm not good at posing this. So I would prefer a sculpted cape. Um, but the one thing about it that I do love, I love the fact that the inner part of the cape has a sheen fabric to it. And then the outer part is just a flat black. I really think that pops out nicely, especially if you got good lighting. It'll really reflect nicely and just show that the cape is actually uh, has has life to it i guess you know um it does look like it's flowing so can't complain there um but anyways um yeah lightsaber looks nice um everything about this i i'm i am so in love with this statue man this is really a nice uh nicely done piece again you know in sideshow really uh I, the first piece i i got the uh the lightsaber wouldn't light up so, you know, Sideshow with their customer service, excellent as always, uh, took care of me and um, big, big shout out to them for that. Thank you. Um, you made it easy and, um, you know, I will continue to support you guys. So anyways, um, let's get some close ups. All right, everybody, let's start off with the base here real quick. Again, this is nicely done. I, I'm a huge fan of this. Um, you know, the, the rock work looks great. I love the oranges coming out. Looks like, you know, it's heat um, or lava, just like uh, they showed. Um, and this right here, this is the back part here. This is where it plugs in to light up, and it's just one button there. So. Pretty easy. All right, and then what we'll do is we'll go on here. Very nice done. 
So you notice how the boots, they have kind of a flat black shine to it and then you go into the glossy armor. It's really nice. Should go up and you got the cod piece there. It's really nice. I love the little texture wrinkles there. It makes it look like it's actually like kind of a, you know, a foam piece like it was in the movie. So it's nicely done. There goes the belt. Love that. There goes your chest box. I love this expression, or I'm sorry, um, uh, pose with the with the hand. Just that menacing, just power look. This is the lightsaber here. Lightsaber lights up really nice. Big fan of that. You got your lightsaber there. There goes nice, and here comes the bread and butter, the helmet. Big, big fan of that. And the cape with the chain, I don't know if you can notice that, but you got the chain. And that's actually a uh, rubber material. It's not like a, a loose plastic, so it's just kind of one stiff piece. But definitely be careful putting this on. Um, you know, you don't want that guy to tear off. So. So there you have it, guys. The new premium format Darth Vader by Sideshow. Um, if you've been hesitant on picking this up, I would definitely pick it up. It's nice. Um, pictures don't do it justice. Wait until you see it in person. It is big and it is powerful and it is just a, it's a centerpiece, man. Everybody loves looking at this thing. So, so anyways, guys, hey, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye now.